This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Featuring the Orion Holtes, current and future configurations. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's valued viewer request, we have from Anarchy. Dear Cap, could you do a video to find out if the, if the area impacted by a crashed aircraft increases and decreases with explosive stores or fuel on board the aircraft, I'm guessing it means. For example, does a Hornet with full fuel, three bags and two 2,000 pound bombs have a larger crater or kill area than a Hornet with no fuel and no stores with only the kinetic energy to cause the impact? Now this is right down our alley, RC, crashing into things with our face. No one does it better than the Grim Reapers. Hornet, you guys say, I take your Hornet and I raise you an A10C. If we want to see differential between loaded and non-loaded, then nothing does it better than this. So, Aerial 1 is an A10C2. It's had everything stripped out. Countermeasures, gun bullets, internal fuel, external fuel, stores, and it has a total weight of 26,000 pounds. That's quite light. I think I probably probably bench pressed that, RC. Next, we have an A10C2, Aerial 2. He is a little more on the RC side. He's got full fuel, he's got full guns, full countermeasures, and more stores. <laughs> it looks... What the hell? Look at that thing. If that thing flies, I'm a Chinaman. That, look at that. That's not going to fly. Uh, anyway, it is... 60... I'll tell you what, if it flies, it'll fly forever. Well, yeah. Uh, it's got so much fuel. It will have a lot of inertia as well. It has 63 thousand pounds that is break two and a half times more so it's much better doing this than the hornet because we get such a differential as well as that it's slower so we can more easily control the impact and whatnot we are going to hit our face into the Sukumi cross into that flag there being as accurate as we can spaced out we have i can't there's nothing i can say that won't offend someone out there now so we have i don't know non-binary gender fluid unoffensive autonomous bionic somethings that cannot offend anyone okay they are spaced out at 25 feet interval exactly up to 200 300 feet sorry where they become at 50 feet interval it's as simple as that bug spatter effect is not modeled in dcs we've proved it with another video so don't worry about them being in the way of each other i guarantee you it will not make any difference any predictions from you i'm going to say it's going to be the same regardless Sadly, I think so as well. We have done something a bit like this before where we crashed these things into ships and we didn't get any difference. But you never know. You never know. DCS has these little things, these little gems hidden that Ivan's put in at some point and he never tells anyone about and you just find them. So I've done this many times. So we'll see. Standby valued viewers. In fact, before we get in, a tiny bit of debate. Bombs. We're carrying a bunch of... I'm not allowed to call them dumb bombs. What can I call them? Not retarded bombs. Bombs. Non-guided bombs. There we go. I've got non-guided bombs on. If our aeroplane hits the ground at a certain speed, 100 knots, 200 knots, 500 knots, whatever, would those bombs explode? What do you think first? Uh, well, I think the bombs the bombs don't arm till they leave the pylon. Until, yeah, right. So, probably, yeah. and you know, you can program, you know, depending on the bomb, mm -hmm. you can program to arm at a certain point. So I don't think the bombs, I mean... They're designed to be, you know, to not explode unless you intend them to. Right, because you can set for instance, so an example is that, of that is you can set a tail fuse. So the bomb will come through, it will puncture through the thing, the ground, the bunker, the whatever, stay intact, not explode, and then the, when the tail fuse goes, gets, gets impacted, then it'll explode. So they are, as far as we're aware, designed to hit stuff, ground, and stay intact. I'd be interested if you guys, the valued viewers, know any more about that, about any real bombs that may have gone off or not gone off when this had happened. It's an interesting thing to, thing to talk about. Okay, valued viewers, I'm in my super lightweight machine. I'm, I'm pausing now. You've got to tell me when I'm over the cross because I can't see. Uh, oh, stand by. And I mean exactly over the cross. Well, I mean, you're going to try and dive at a 90 degree angle? Pretty much. I figured that's going to be the most accurate way because if we start coming down on an angle, it gets really hard to. Get your face right, right on that object. See. <laughs> what we've got to do is press the F10 button, RC. I, I, I got you, I got you. I was laughing about something else. Mm, yeah. Your nose is at the center of the cross. There I go. I believe, see, I can really pick my, the tire out really well. Now I'm going to see, with my air brakes out, how slow I can get, because it doesn't really matter how fast we're going. What matters is that we're at the same speed. Let's see how slow I can get. 
we've put my velocity vector, which is off the screen, which is a little bit annoying, but let's get that fixed. You'll have to put your head position down to do this by the looks of it. Okay, the slowest I can get is brake. Yeah. Wow, it's not easy to get slow. I'm nearly 400 knots. This, yeah, yeah no this way. isn't going to work. Yeah. All right. Well, it'll work. It just be, yeah, but we need to be able to... to the speed yeah, it is. That's a problem. Wow, on the plus side, I really hit the tyre. And I mean, I really hit yeah. the tyre. About 400 knot. Not. No one's dead. What happened? Yeah, one guy. Two guys. You know what? Guy? You know what? I don't know anything. Two guys are dead. As you're fully aware, I don't know anything about anything. But I reckon that if that really crashed to 400 knots, the amount of boom boom going up would make these uh, non-offensive automatons not be, alive. Do you know what I mean? That's a lot. There would be a compression wave that would knock them down. Heat. Think how much heat transfer is in there. Anyway, so you think two died there. Let me, do, let me just check. Uh, yeah, there's one kind of in the ground and one on the outside of the burn area. You know what? It's doing that thing, a really useful thing DTS does. It's measuring in nautical miles. 0.0... .0 Oh, anyone does that. So one, two, yeah, two guys. And no damage to the other guy. How interesting. Right, I'll see. Uh, I'm going to reset the mission, and then you're going to try it. Uh, everyone, look how big RC is. His mama says he's big bone. It's heavy. It's heavy? It is. <laughs> look at him fall out of the sky. Look at him fall out of the sky. <laughs> you're going to have to put some juice on, maybe. All right. I do there. It's on. It's fine. All right, all right, okay. Okay. It's on. Juice is on. Pierre Spray did not foresee this test coming, did he? Right. Okay. Okay, sweet. I just dropped my chewing gum on the carpet. That won't piss the wife off. It will. Uh -oh. oh, apparently it is. Oh, she overheard. Brilliant. Right, guys. And we've did got... You, yes, do you have... Do you have map options off? Nope. Why would I do that? No? Two miles. You'll just have to trust I me. I know you don't do it I, instinctively, but you'll just have to. 1.6 miles. I can't get into I can't see the uh, other views. Mm. Well, you should take off that VR headset then. No. Yeah. One mile. No oh, there it goes. Okay, I got it. 0.5 <laughs> miles. Look how useful I'm being when I give you the feedback. 0.3 miles. And dive, dive, dive. U-boat gehen unter. Right, air brakes on. Idle power. Everything in all okay. your ability to put that velocity vector now on the tyre in the middle, which means you have to move your head position a bit. Yeah. I could only get to about 197. Wait, well, I don't see that tyre right now. Oh, there it is. No, I'm not going to hit it. Yeah. No. Oh, you're going to hit that? Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah, you hit the petrol canisters. Yeah. Embarrassing, right? I could not control it on the way down. It. Let's... Do again? Let's try again. You might as well just no, jump in a new one. You haven't done any damage. Oh, no way. Something happened. What? The men are all dead. The automatons are all dead. Right, I think this is modelled. I think this is modelled. They're all you dead. You want to reset? Yeah, but this might... Okay. I told you. Let's try again. Dimitri puts yeah. little gems in there. He doesn't tell anyone. He's just like... Meh, 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 meh. Doesn't tell Wagner. And... And we find them out. Aren't we clever? Right, we're starting again. This little man. I mean, automaton. Non-offensive automaton. Made of plastic. No, plastic's bad for the environment. What can he be? Wood? Can I say wood? He's made of wood. Ballistic gel. Ballistic gel doesn't upset anyone. Okay, they are sustainable, sustainably harvest plantation timber. If you can find something to be offended about that, then then God help us. Don't say God. Everyone wants to see RC do well. It's looking a lot better, Value Viewer! Boom! Bang on the money, RC. Yeah, they're all dead! It works! It works! They're all gone! Oh, interesting. Every single man! Well, no, there's one guy left. Okay, well, he's a million miles away, so let's yeah. not worry about that. So the fuel is modelled! Either the KE... Nothing's modelled. And what was this RC at the beginning? No, 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 no nothing's ever modelled. I, well, hate, ED, I, I hate ED, I hate ED, I hate ED. Well, no, never you didn't that. say that! Because that's what I heard. I didn't know. I, I didn't... I'll have to review the footage. No, I didn't think it would oh, be right. modelled like that. I mean, uh, neither of us thought this was going to work, Valid Viewers, so we didn't bother thinking of a um, follow-up. But the follow-up question is of now, what is it doing? Are the bombs exploding? Is it the fuel that's modelled? Is it the weight? Is it the half MV squared? Uh, the kinetic impact? What is it now? Uh, you know, the first thing to do is quickly check the speed. I'm going to review the footage back and check the speed. Welcome back, Valid Viewers. We reviewed the footage. RC was going 130 knots faster than me so kinetic energy wise that wasn't a fair test uh i'm gonna go again at six thousand feet now otherwise everything's the same that will stop the delta in speed or not you know it'll reduce the delta in speed to 300 
I'm on I'm on the friggin' flag. I'm on the flag, look. Yeah. That is I'm not gonna lie, and I don't like showing off. Okay, I killed my usual two guard, my usual two wooden automatons. And tip. And boom! It wasn't very accurate, but it doesn't need to be because all oh, the men are dead again. So, are this they? thing. Right, back to the drawing board. Welcome back, valued viewers. So, they were about the same speed there, and they had a massive differential in the damage. And next, we're trying RC's version with all dumb bombs. Uh, dumb bomb. Uh, training bombs. So, these don't explode. They haven't, they're full of concrete or whatever, you know, ballast. Unfortunately, we can't make it as heavy as it was, but it is still much heavier than my one. It is still 56,000 pounds. So, there will still be a marked difference if we're just looking at the weight. If it was the Mark 84s that were exploding, then the amount of offenseless automatons will go down. So, welcome back, Valley viewers. RC's lost a tiny bit of weight. He's done some running. And good old Pally. Feels good. It does feel good. Feel the burn. And over you go. Here we go. Wow, that was a terrible way of turning over. But... <sighs> Can he recover? Got distracted by the... Got distracted. Uh, Just carry yeah. on and hit the target. Worst hit ever, but <laughs> it worked. No. They're all dead Their again. Worst hit was hitting the fuel. Okay, bomb. it did work. It absolutely worked. Yeah. Everyone's dead again. And they're inert bombs. They 100% do not explode. Why don't we remove all the fuel and just weigh it down with really heavy bombs? Now we know that they don't explode. Let's remove all the fuel and weigh it down just with really heavy ballast. And that should tell us our last piece of information at that point. There's only so well we can do this, Valued Viewers. What we've got, it is set to no internal fuel. So we've removed the fuel from the, the burn from the equation. We've got the same internal fuel as the other one now. We've loaded up with bombs because we're sure that the bombs aren't exploding. Now, the unfortunate thing about that is we're down to £45,000. But it's still nearly twice of what my one weighed. So we should still hopefully see some differential. This will tell us if it's purely the mass or if it was the fuel that was burning the non or fenceless automatons now we can't be more empirical and scientific than this so let's just go and get it done save why oh because i have no fuel It'd be nice <laughs> if you had a slightly better approach than last time it's all about when the guy tells me to turn over no, it's not it's all about the skill of the driver nice nice look at that we removed the uh -huh. fuel and no one died we uh -huh. removed the fuel and no one died uh, two guys, or one, was it two? One or two? In this case, one, but, but we can allow a little inaccuracy because we're, yeah. you've got A, you've got multi-player, desync, also, we, you know, we're never perfectly on the tyre, so we'll, 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 you know, we'll, we'll let them get away with that. So, it so was the, the fuel, it was the fuel, the, well, the weight of the aircraft is not seeming to make any difference because this is nearly twice as heavy as my one, and the same amount or less guys have died, but if you load it up with fuel... Then it doesn't make a physical, it doesn't make a visual bigger bang. But if if this thing is loaded with fuel to the same weight, everyone dies, which is probably realistic, right? If a, if a fuelless airframe yeah, goes fuel down, more likely to kill people. That's what I think. And the fuel will spread out everywhere and just be a bit, it's a bit macabre. But it's you know it's it's you know what happens when an airplane goes down. Should we do one more where it's loaded with fuel and no bombs? This time, just fuel. Oh, no. There we go. Lots and lots of fuel. £51,000. We are heavy again. Uh, not super heavy, but we are heavy. But we've just got fuel and no bombs. Uh, and, and just to make sure guns are going off. And chaff and flare are going off. Uh, so we're down to £49,000. £49,000. Got a cattail in my throttle. That's Hang what on. it is, is okay. it? Right. All right. That was, my That's excuse. What it is. that was my excuse as well when I... When I crashed, it was the cat tail. I don't want to get the cat tail caught in the. Mm. Nice, nice. Look at that on the nose, and they're all dead. Yep. All right, it's the fuel. So that's it. It's the fuel. So there you go, valued viewers. Bombs do not explode when you crash. The weight of the impact doesn't seem to be important. I can't completely rule it out, but it doesn't seem to be important. And the fuel level is important. Everyone all the offenseless automatons died. Sorry that took so long, but that's DCS science, and DCS science keeps the world ticking. Anything you want to add, add RC? Nope. Oh, thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>